welcome to Brainiac, the history show that makes you want to go back in time and play with Saw. Prove your game. That's the question we're asking down here at the Brainiac Lab. Brainiac, and I can tell you that he's been drinking solidly for the last hour. How many pints is that? This is the fifth. Five. Yeah. That should do it. We'll finish that one off then. Okay. Great. Five pints of lager, three games to play. Let's get back to that dartboard again. Come on. World champion Andy Fordham may be able to cope on large quantities of beer, but for ordinary sized mortals, drinking this much alcohol surely can't help. Your balance goes as well as your coordination and vision. I think we're going to be some time. Steady. So much so, in fact, that even after 15 minutes, he couldn't actually finish the game. The scoreboard shows a DNF did not finish. So, that's 39 darts, and you're up to number four. I think we can safely say he's not going to do it. Let's move on to the pool. Now, you had exactly the same time. Stone cold sober, and after two pints, two minutes and five seconds is what we want to beat. Five pints of beer swilling inside his body now has its effect. Technically speaking, he's shot to pieces. The eyes are all over the place, the coordination completely gone. The fine motor skills, well, there's nothing fine about them. That's 10 minutes and 34 seconds. 10 minutes and 34 seconds. You're clearly useless at pool after five pints. I'll take that, thank you very much. Now, the next challenge is football. Remember, he's got to be 35 seconds stone cold sober time or 45 seconds after two pints. Let's see how he gets on. One minute and eight seconds. I think we can safely conclude that five pints... <laughs> this is the barrel. Looks harmless enough until the lid is removed. Dozens of razor-sharp spikes firmly embedded in the oak barrel wall. Bring on the guilty party. As the victim is sealed inside, he will catch his very last glimpse of daylight because the barrel will be rolled down a hill, bringing about a horrifying death by stabbing and slashing. This brutal method of execution has been reported all over the world for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. It was practiced by the Vikings, in ancient Rome, and, some people believe, on the Isle of Man, where legend says a woman guilty of murder was executed on the steep slopes of Witcher's Hill. A spine-chilling piece of equipment. But we were wondering, is it possible to use this frightening object in a nice, friendly... Meanwhile, at the top-secret government laboratory over the chip shop. Can you smell fear? Not if I breathe. <laughs> and if the exponential variation is X approaching Y with a random quotient integer of 242.3, the answer must be zero. <laughs> Cubed. <laughs> Remarkable. He's a genius. <laughs> Nothing wrong with his reflexes either. Mm. And that's lunch. Right. Now that actually, no one's going anywhere. Well, what'd you expect? I just queen then. <laughs> For her gorgeous face, printed on 50,000 pieces of paper. <laughs> just, just, just thank you. That's just, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. So what will happen in the next episode? Will Basil escape? Will... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're kidding! You can't spin this feeble rubbish out for three episodes! I won't do it! I'm not gonna do it! I don't wanna do this anymore! No, oh, that's, that's enough! <laughs>